Hello viewers, this is your host Phil and here I am with my next video for you to view and learn something new in Excel. Last video I had shown you how to create a game of Tambola, Housey or Bingo as it is generally called popularly by using Excel, its formulas and its tricks. Now in this video I will show you another way of creating a game which is used as a quiz game in a personal level, in a family get together or a corporate get together wherein team building and recreation activities are of prime importance. Now, before we go on to how to create this, let me show you a demonstration of how this game is generally played. So, ideally, the organizer of this game has got a screen here which is completely blank and slowly and steadily some part of the picture in the background is revealed to the participants and some clues are provided or not provided depending on the organizer's wish and based on the pictures, visuals which are available on the screen or part of the visual available on the screen and the clues provided, the participants have to guess what is the picture behind. The earlier the guess is, the higher reward it, it has. Let me give a demonstration. So with this up arrow or down arrow, the organizer goes on clicking it and revealing part of the picture to the participants. So there it is. When the score is 5 or what value is 5, this much of the screen is visible. As it goes on increasing, more and more portion of the picture is accessible to the participants and they can guess what it is. So when it reaches a complete score or a complete visibility of the picture, picture is very easy to recognize it is fine beautiful pink rose on your screen so friends let us get on to the main task of this video i am going to explain you how this quiz or how this quiz game is created so now let us bring in some photo or some image of some person or dignitary whom we like let me go to the page layout tab and here in the page layout tab I can choose background to set up the background here. Now I am not going to take up anything for online so I am going to say work offline. In work offline I got few of the images or pictures here of which I am going to choose this picture apj or jpg and there it is the missile man of India, the president or ex-president of India and one of the most respected scientists of current age Mr. apj Abdul on our screen. So with this I am going to choose to hide the columns which are of not my interest so remaining images here or remaining columns say from m onwards i'm going to choose by pressing ctrl shift and right key there it is i have chosen all the columns so i used ctrl shift right key to choose the columns on the column tab i'm going to right click and say hide so as soon as i say hide those columns are hidden now these columns or this columns J, K and L have got some cells in here. I am going to make them white in appearance by going to home tab and choosing fill color white. There it is. So that is white. Now from row number 30 onwards, I have chosen row number 30 and again I am going to choose Control shift down key to choose all the rows in that excel file or this worksheet and then say right click and hide the rows which are chosen. So here it is, the picture is very much available at my discretion now to further on build the game. Friends, as I had shown last time how to insert the developer tab in your command tab or command window. I am going to show you again, right click on here on your command window, say custom the ribbon and when you go to custom ribbon in customize ribbon in the drop down here, you have choice to choose developer, I have already chosen it and that's why the developer tab is available in my command window. In case if it is not available in yours, this is the way you can choose the developer tab and say OK. So once the developer tab is there on your screen or your command tabs, I go to the developer tab from the com developer command, I choose insert and in insert, I am going to choose the spin button here. So I have chosen spin button, I am going to insert it here. So once done, now the down and up arrow are very much available for me to choose. Now what do I do with this is, I go on to that, say right click and after I choose right click, I say format controls. So now I am going to format the controls of this button and how do I do that? Here are the tabs of size, protection, pro protection properties, alt text. Alt text is used generally for the uh, people who are visually impaired and 
control. So now when I go to the control tab, there are other choices here. Current value is zero. Minimum value I want to set up as zero. Maximum value I will choose as hundred. This can be chosen by the organizer or the creator of this game as per his or her choice. Now incremental change. I am going to choose increment change as ten. So with every click of the button up or down, the incremental change shall be ten units and cell link so which cell do i need to link with these values i'm going to choose one of the cells here dollar k dollar two and say enter once done the values have been set in here it is and there was one last tab which i left out explain you so either one can choose the 3d shading or switch it off i'm going to choose it to keep it on so once done the size and everything is okay for me I can lock the aspect ratio, I can leave it as it is, that's my wish. So as a creator of this game, now I'm set up with this developer tab. I'm going to click outside and as I click it up and down, it goes on changing the value in that cell. So now let me choose this cell value or the font to be a little higher so it's visible to all of us. So once done, there we are. And now let us go back to this area of the picture. Now I've chosen all the cells of my interest here. This row number 29 is what again I don't need it. I'm going to hide it. And there it is. So now with all these rows and columns which are of my interest, I have chosen the cells. Once chosen, I go to the formula tab. I say is equal to R A N D and I choose the command or the formula rand between that is random between. Now this formula is used to choose a certain value of lower interest or the bottommost value and the uppermost value. I'm going to choose 1 and 100 here, close the parenthesis. So this command by default randomly chooses the cell or cell and the value in it is inputted as randomly from 1 to 100 or 1 to or whatever lower limit to upper limit has been set. So I've chosen this. Once done now I'm going to paste this formula into all the cells which I have chosen. So how to do that? That is by pressing control and enter. Once done. There are those values in there. Now I can go ahead and do conditional formatting of these cells so that the further activity of disclosing the picture slowly and steadily can be done. So now before that I'm going to go this to this cell and set it at zero. Once done, I'll go back to these cells. I've chosen the values here. Right now all these cells have got formula in it and there it is, you can see in the formula bar that all these cells have a formula. I don't require the formula, so I'm going to choose all these cells, say Ctrl C, that is I have copied all the values from there and now I'm going to paste only the values into these cells as they are. So now if I go again to these cells and check, these are all values and none of them have formula there anymore. So once done, now I'm all set to do the next activity in this. Now I'm going to use conditional formatting for all these cells. How do I do the conditional formatting? I go to the home tab and say conditional formatting, highlight cell rules. So now I have got a choice of highlighting the cell rules greater than or less than. So there it is. So once done, I can choose the format or format cell. What cell I have to choose? I'm going to choose this cell value. So it is going to compare with this cell value and then what to do. So how do I do that is here. So I can go here and say custom format. Once I go there, I go over there and custom format in fill. I can go to the fill effects and what do I need to fill is I'm going to choose no color for this. So when this value is greater than this cell or it is less than this cell, this will be disclosed as or as no fill. Let me go once again and check it. So format cells that are greater than I'm going to choose format cell which are lesser than. So I go again over there, home, conditional formatting, highlight the cells which are lesser than I have chosen or rather I have to choose this cell value here. So once chosen, the next thing is I have to go here and custom format. In custom format, I can say no color and say okay. Once done, okay. Now before that, I'm going to go and choose these cells and I'm going to fill it with the white color here. There it is. So once done, these are the white colors. 
add in custom format custom format conditional formatting for this and now this numbers are something that i don't want to see i'm not very pleased seeing these numbers here on the screen so how do i remove it i choose them i say control one so there it is i go into the custom window and here it is i'm going to custom this cell or this number as so and there it is the values of the cells have gone off so once done now we're all set for doing the conditional formatting as a trial run i'm going to run it here so when i say 10 some of the cells are here at my discretion i can see them as and when i go on increasing this value more and more cells are disclosed and there it is now i can slowly and steadily since i am the creator of this game i very well know that it is apj abdul kalam but the participants who are visualizing this image for the first time as and how it is getting unraveled they will be guessing and slowly and steadily they can make out whose picture it is now there it is by the time you reach half of the way any indian can make out who is this dignitary or whose image or whose picture is this now while this is done there it is when we reach the 100 percent cell there it is we see all the values have been disclosed now in case if you want to see the values here it is very much easy on the screen we are seeing that 80 percent or 80 number of top 100 has been disclosed and there are the images or the cells which have been disclosed now at times as i said a organizer can choose to give a hint so when when and however it is one can use a if cell here and by using a if command i can choose to disclose this value so if the logical test this value is say greater than 20 or is equal to, I am going to say is equal to, say 20 is equal to 20, then the true value will be, I am going to type here precedent or I am going to type missile man. Else it will remain null. If it is false, it will be null. So there it is, I am going to close the parenthesis and enter. So there it is. So I have to first of all choose here as no color, no fill, and then when it goes on 20, I should be able to see value there. Well, I choose to make it sorry, I choose to make it white or I choose to keep it unfilled, doesn't much matter much, but putting it white is better because on the whites background it can be read easily so this can be a hint when it becomes 20 the hint or the clue to the participants will be that he was a missile man so if at all i go here and i go for the next value i again copy this cell i paste the cell here a special i say text okay now I'm going to go here and say if it is 30, then he worked at ISRO or he worked at DRDO. So I'm going to say scientist at DRDO. So as soon as I change this value to 30, the hint comes here so and so forth for every step a hint can be given here if i go to the next value and if i say control v so here if the value i choose to make it 40 and i say he was from ameshwaram so now i'm going to the next hint as Rameshwaran city hometown so as soon as i go to 40 here i choose 40 the hint Rameshwaran city hometown and this way the organizer can choose to give hints to the 
audience or to the participants and make the game more and more interesting. So friends, I have tried to explain you various commands from Excel to build this quiz game here for everyone to create on their own and improvise as and what is required. Add clues and hints as and what you feel like you as an organizer of the game you can add. You can make this formatting of the screen more interesting and more impressive and make your participants more enjoyable to participate in this quiz game. With this, I am coming to the closure of this video. I hope you would have liked it. Certainly, I will request you to improvise onto these learnings into your own applications, practice it and make it more perfect. I will be back with my next video. Till then, goodbye, take care.